guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery with me, Matthew Smith. In this video you'll be seeing my epic adventure to Bulgaria, the capital Sofia, and I'll be travelling by train uh, to a, a town called Fratza uh, in the uh, northwest of Bulgaria. Uh, on the, you will be seeing me travel on slow trains and any coach going back to Sofia from there. Uh, a lot of locals use the coaches more than the trains because it's a lot quicker. Uh, in the, in Bulgaria. Anyway, uh, I shall leave you with some facts about Sofia and Bulgaria and I'll get back to you at the end to see how much this trip costed me in total. See you then. Let's get started shall we? Sofia is the capital and largest city of Bulgaria. It is situated in the Sofia Valley at the foot of the Fetosha mountain in the western part of the country. Sofia has a population of 1.3 million people and this makes it the 15th largest city of the European Union. Sofia's population is diverse and even though the dominant ethnic group is Bulgarians, it consists of significant minority groups such as Turks, Roma and Russians. The largest minority group is the Bulgarian Turks, who make up 10% of the entire country's population. The city goes through a temperate continental climate, with four distinct seasons, with warm summers and cold winters. During the summer, it is warm and sunny, with temperatures ranging between 23 to 26 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 73 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are cold and snowy, with temperatures ranging between minus 2 to 2 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 50 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit. The city has three sides, surrounded by mountains. On the south is the famous Fitosha mountain, to the west is Lyulin mountain, and to the north is the Balkan mountains. Subsequently, the mountains secure the city from cold winds and harsh winters. The mountains act as barriers, preventing cold winds from reaching the city. Sofia is Europe's third oldest capital behind Athens and Rome. The city was founded in the 7th century. Sofia is known for the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, its hot mineral springs, ancient Roman history and countless museums. The Bulgarian capital is also famous for its fascinating parks, Viennese-style architecture, unusual bridges and the Fitosha mountain. Sofia is a major economic centre in Southeast Europe and is home to many international companies and organisations. Sofia International Airport in the heart of the city is one of the busiest airports in Southeast Europe, taking care of millions of passengers each year. It is connected to a metro system with stations spread across most parts of the city. The National Library of Bulgaria, also known as the St. Cyril and Methodius National Library, is acknowledged as Bulgaria's oldest cultural institute. It was named in honour of the inventors of the Cyrillic alphabet and was founded in 1878, after the country secured freedom from Ottoman rule. The library houses a collection of more than 7 million items. They include books, manuscripts, newspapers, magazines, maps and more. Some of its highlights are the oldest Bulgarian manuscripts and the Nina Apostolic Codex, which dates back to the 11th century. With rich history, culture and natural beauty, this city is a top tourist destination in Bulgaria, with visitors coming from around the globe. The city has many historical landmarks, museums and galleries, and an excellent cultural scene, with theatre, opera and music performances. Besides the cultural attractions, the city is surrounded by natural scenery, including mountain ranges, forests and lakes. These natural landscapes also promote outdoor adventure, such as hiking and skiing. 
This city has earned a reputation for sustainability and commitment to greenery. This has made Sofia a remarkable green paradise with an extensive network of parks and green spaces, making it one of the greenest capitals in Europe. Some of its famous parks are Borisova, Gradnina and South Park, which are popular for both locals and visitors alike. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral is an architectural masterpiece and one of the world's largest Eastern Orthodox cathedrals. The facility was completed in the late 19th century and attracts visitors and locals with its golden domes which sparkle under sunlight. The interior is full of decorations including mosaics. Hello guys and a very good morning from Gatwick Airport and welcome to another travel video with Destination Discovery. In this video you'll be seeing me travelling from here with EasyJet to Bulgaria, the capital Sofia. And then once I'm there I'll be exploring Sofia by train. Um, their trains are quite old and very slow and they do take a long time to get around. So I'll be showing you all that and then I'll be showing you also their coaches out there uh, which most locals use in Bulgaria because it's faster than the trains without further ado I do hope you enjoy my video and uh, for, and please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you like it at the end and let's get traveling <laughs> So I'm now here behind the security at Gatwick North Terminal. Time is 4.22 in the morning. I've got my flight departs at 6.25, so I've got a little over two hours to spare um, before my East Jet flight. It's a three-hour flight, three flight over to Sofia, capital of Bulgaria. Uh, as always, you use this by now. I shall get my full English breakfast from where been, and I will join you when I get to Bulgaria. <music> Hello guys, so I've made it to Sofia, <coughs> right about five minutes late, left Gatwick half an hour late, uh, but it's nice and sunny here, um, and now I'll be getting a taxi to the train station uh, for my train in about an hour and a bit's time, I shall join you then. Hello guys, so I've arrived at Sofia Railway Station, awaiting my 1.15 train which leaves in half an hour, uh, which uh, my final destination will be Fratzer. I do apologise if I got the uh, definitely uh, got that wrong uh, saying that, but uh, I'm off to Fratzer. Uh, I need to change trains in Mestra. I've got about 10 minutes in Mestra to change trains. Um, the platform's not been announced yet, but that's the plan. So, yeah, my final destination, like I could say, is Fratza, which is the largest city in northwestern Bulgaria. Um, it's about a two hour include, uh, train ride, including the change of 10 minutes um, because the trains are quite slow out here. Uh, but without further ado, I shall wait for my train.
I've just arrived in uh, Mestra. Uh, we've got 10 minutes train. Other trains uh, sitting here uh, waiting uh, for the connection over. Uh, and it's about a 20 minute ride on this train before um, I get to my final destination, Fracture. I shall join you then. Do frat, uh, a small, sleepy city. Uh, so my bus departs in about an hour and twenty. So I've got a bit of time to explore this uh, local city in the northwestern part of Bulgaria before heading back on my one hour and thirty-five minute journey uh, back to Sofia. <laughs> Let's see how much this awesome trip costed me and see how cheap or expensive it actually was. Let's start with the single outbound flight from London Gatwick to Sofia, but through eDreams, which costed me a total of £56.75 pence or 129.29 Bulgarian Lefi. Food and drink whilst in the UK came to £18.89 or 43.04 Bulgarian Lev. The taxi from Sofia Airport to the railway station costed me on the meter a total of £9.57 or 2180 Bulgarian Lev. The two-hour train journey from Sofia to Fratza, including the change, only came to £3.71 or 8.45 Bulgarian Lev. The one-hour, 45-minute coach journey from Fratza to Sofia costed me £4.39 or 10 Bulgarian Lev. The taxi from Sofia Coach Station to Sofia Airport came to on the meter a total of ten pound and eighty five pence or twenty four seventy one Bulgarian Lev. The drink and food whilst in Bulgaria came to sixteen pound and fifty nine pence or thirty seven eighty Bulgarian Lev. The one-way flight from Sofia to Papos, Cyprus, which is my next destination you can see next week, and booked direct with Ryanair, came to £37.83, or 86 18 Bulgarian Lev. 
So the grand total came to £158.58 or 361.27 Bulgarian left. So in total, it actually wasn't a bad price trip. So fear is a very cheap uh, capital and it is a cheap country overall for Bulgaria. So it wasn't that badly priced. Anyway, that is my trip. So I hope you do enjoy it. And until next time, good night.